ago we were looking at solving exponential equations and we had a part one to that video now is a continuation because sometimes we have exponents that we cannot write in the same base so like in this case I cannot write 7 you know using the base of 3 neither can I write 3 using the base of 7 so in this case my exponential skills are our exponential skills won't work mathematically we're going to introduce what is called logs to assist us to try to solve this so the idea is that we could log both sides so we're introducing logs on both sides so what happens is when we log both sides there is one of those log rule it's a log rule that says this for example if you have the log of say 5 raised to the x all right let us say you have the log of 5 raised to the x the rule is saying that this index could be rewritten as a coefficient of the log of 5 so 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 the log of 5 my bad so most times it's like just dealing with these sort of stuff you have to remember the log rule so in this case i am now able to use this coefficient this index and i'm going to write it as a coefficient on the other side so i'll have x minus one and because it's in a binomial form i'm going to have to make sure that i'm writing it properly the log of seven which is equal to the log of three so here it is i'm going to distribute my log seven in this so i'm getting x log seven minus log seven equal to log three now at this time we're solving for x so why not just leave this term with the x on it for now all right and then we get the negative log on the other side so basically i have x log 7 this is going to equal to log 3 and if i add log 7 to both sides basically it's going to cancel out here and it's going to show up here as the log of 7. now the deal is again i'm seeing where this part here we could do something with this because there's another rule that says if you log a in a, in a base whatever base it is plus the log of say b in the same base then the trick is that it's going to be the same thing as saying the log of a b in that base so we're going to use that trick now to simplify this because the log of a in a base plus the log of b in the same base can be written as the log in that base of a times b so we're going to employ this now, and we'll, we are looking at a case where we have the log, we have x log 7, which is now equal to the log of 3 times 7. And 3 times 7, I'm just going to write 21. So we have 21, and now what we could do, divide both sides by log of 7. And our final answer would be, all right, let's write our final answer. X is now equal to the log of 21 over the log of seven. And you could use your calculators to break it down more if you want, depending on what you're dealing with. But this is just to, you know, to show us that every now and then, when we're solving our exponential equations, um, there will come a time when we cannot write both sides using a common base and then we'd have to introduce logs and then continue our working all right this question so we're dealing with solving logarithmic equations so we're looking at the log in base 4 of 1024 and that is equal to some value called x based on the definition of what log is this case is like we're asking ourselves this question at 4 raised to the x power should give us this so in this case, this is what log really refers to. The base of the log raised to what power? It's going to equal to that. 
Well, here, you know, if you think about a few little stuff that you know, the logs could work out, but guess what? What we could do also, see what we know about exponents. So if, if you know what's going on with exponent 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, we will get 4 to the 5th is equal to 1024. And at this time, we are now able to drop these. And then x is really equal to 5. So here it is, we are applying the ideas of logarithm and <laughs> understanding exponent. We don't even have to use calculators to get that out. The answer is 5. Let's look at another one. Log in base 2 of 8 gives us a value. We're saying what value is that? Well, all we have to do is to say, okay, 2 raised to what power? is equal to 8 and this is how this is how logarithm is linked to exponent the base raised to what power here gives us this all right so basically what we're looking at is 2 raised to the x is the same thing as 2 raised to the third because we can represent it as 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 now we could drop the base so x is equal to 3 all right thank you for watching